Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet, the babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Destiny 2 Adventure Time, where we'll go through every adventure side activity in the game. And today, we're again, we're still in the European Dead Zone, back in Trostland, so the, the area where the church is, where we all start the game at the very beginning. And today we're gonna do a little adventure called Supply and Demand. An old friend is looking for Red Legion supplies to reappropriate. Scour fallen territory to uh, anything for anything to scavenge. I can't talk anymore, but they can. Hey, long time no see, you two. Dev, you didn't tell me she was in town. Ms. Holiday and I have been reappropriating supplies from the Cabal. She's keeping a low profile at the moment. You tag the boxes, I'll fly them out. Can't wait. So uh, Amanda Holiday is a new uh, character for you guys. So she's the uh, master pilot and engineer in the tower and uh, we're gonna help her out today. So I wanna take a moment to uh, clarify. It has been, I think, two weeks since I lost, uploaded one of these videos. And of course I haven't missed the uh, well, the uproar about Destiny 2, the, well, all the problems it has, the lack of content in a lot of people's eyes, and uh, especially the uh, lackluster DLC we just got, the uh, Curse of Osiris. I'm not missing those controversies, that's not the reason why I didn't, uh, got the, didn't have the time to uh, upload more of these videos, but um, I still believe that there's a lot in this game that people didn't uh, fully experience or didn't look at, especially these adv adventures. And I just want to continue this series because, of course, what the uh, publisher decides to do with a game is, of course, not what the developers envisioned for it. So, uh, to not squander their work, we're going to keep doing this and I'm going to show you everything these guys have made. So, with that said, let's go up here, I think. There we go. Don't let them. There we go. Let's transmat the box. Well, I guess one crate is better than zero. Transmat it your way, Amanda. Not so fast. I'm sending you coordinates a short ways from your position. I've got a fix on it, too. I'll head over that way. Last one to the courtyard's a drag face. Oh, okay. Kind of the courtyard. So I think that must be through uh, the right side over here. Yeah. So yeah, um, to continue our little conversation, um, Destiny 2 isn't doing so good at the moment. So a lot of people are bored by what the game has to offer. They have done pretty much everything there was to it and the DLC didn't add much uh, that, well, build on top of uh, what was already there. So a lot of people are leaving the game, um, which is of course not good for the future of it. We're here. We've got company. Red Belly's dug in and set up a whole bunch of turrets. Clear them out, would you? Uh, but that doesn't mean I stopped liking the game. Um, there's still a lot. I think the gunplay is in parallel, um, which means for me it's still one of the the better games available. But indeed, of course, but there's a point where you'll run out of things to do. Which is not always such a bad thing in my mind, because eventually you will run out of things to do. Um, the only problem I do have with it is they had a lot of features from uh, Destiny 1 that they just cut out. And now they just recently promised they'll start adding a lot of that, um, well, sporadically. Starting with, a, uh, I think they're going to add... 6v6 crucible again which is just well it's a bit weird since they removed it from uh when they moved to destiny 2 uh in favor of 4v4 and now they're just gonna work their themselves back to it again a lot of other things have recently been added that was in destiny 1 already which still begs of course the question did they do this on purpose somehow since they already had the implementation kind of or is there uh, something else at play here? Did they have another reason for not doing this in the first place? Uh, which again, I say because I, I, I really like this game. But of course I'm not blind to the problems it has and the problems that people uh, do me a favor note about it. A beacon, would you? Okay, let's do that then. Amanda, there we go. I'm gonna have to make a new uh, 
Well, you've already seen her by now, so I'm gonna have to make a new portrait for her as well. Signal screen. Here I come. Okay. Those supplies should keep the farm up and running for a while. Another job well done. There's there's the ship. I'm hoping that's not the end of the adventure. Hang on a sec. Ah, oh, there we go. Dead. You see him when I see? Indeed. Another cache of supplies. But these are a bit familiar, aren't they? Those toothy faced ether chuggers. They took our stuff. So the fallen stole from us before we stole what they stole from the Red Legion. All's fair in love and war, I suppose. Yeah, that doesn't seem all too weird. I think the the visuals are freaking out a bit because of the um, the spaceship above our, us here. I'm hoping that if I move out, because yeah, if it's if it looks blurry, it's not your fault. Have an adult mine as well. But there we go. Everything seems to be uh, sharpening up again. Um, okay, so there's another bit of supplies that was stolen from the farm by the fallen. That is now available to us then, trust land. Another area that you don't see that often because it doesn't, uh, you don't come across this area in the main game. But it is accessible in a few missions because it's not accessible in any other way, I think. Because even in free roam, you can't just Secure access it. Cash, and Miss Holiday will be by in two shakes. No can do, Dev. Could be a hundred fallen hiding out in those buildings. I'll wait for the all clear. Is it this that I'm looking for, or we need to be in front of it? Ah, there we go. This is the position I needed to take. Transmatting. I'm actually using a fusion rifle, which I haven't explained all clear. in Definitely this series. Not all clear. Too hot for me to help out. I don't have line of sight either. You're on your own, you two. Be brave, they say. There we go, we'll be brave with a hammer in our hands. Sunspots, and the fusion rifle is a burst laser gun, like that, which just disintegrates enemies. They can actually have, um, if they're on a row like that, you can actually take out multiple enemies at once with it. There we go. Need to charge it up a bit, but there we go. It's a bit more of a tactical choice, and especially in PvP, you don't see it all that much because it's a heavy weapon, and you need to be. Uh, well, it's not as quick on the draw as a shotgun. And there we go. A grenade in the face. Okay, they died because of the sunspot over there. And of course, hard light is still something. The noise you're hearing is when I get hit by a melee attack, my gauntlets start uh, lighting up. I think you can see that right here. So my uh, feedback fence gauntlets start lighting up. And I can actually uh, discharge a bit of an explosion with my armor. There we go. You saw the explosion happening right there. Just going to have to be careful here. I'm starting to lose a bit uh, of my shield here. There we go. Oh, we have, um, what's his name? Merix 5, a servitor. Ooh, the tracer shanks are really annoying. Oh, there goes my shield. So I did change my uh, exotic armor here, so I'm not using the same one as I did before yet. Uh, he's immune because of the servitor. Let's take out that bad boy first. There we go. Boom! Fusion rifle away! And a blue item. That was only assault two out of three, so we're gonna get hit another time, I think. Yeah, there we go. Still going strong, if I say so myself. Since we're going, coming from both directions, I'm gonna try and uh, keep in the middle here. Oh, 
Oh god. Well, there we go. Got a bit of health back. So I know there's a captain really close by, but I do want to take out the, the ads here first. Luckily, hard light does not have drop off in the bullets. The fusion rifle equipped. Grenade in the face. And there we go. Invisible dude. Where's the. There's another one. It's an invisible dude behind me. Okay. What is. Is that a little drag hiding there? There you go. Soul escaping his body. So again, there's plenty of reasons why I like this game. And of course, there's also plenty of reasons to hate it just as much. But I mean, I don't want to... Since I have kind of a tactical background as well, I really don't want to disprove of what the developers here did. Because this game looks and plays amazing. So in a game perspective, this game has nothing wrong going for it most of the criticisms go for it. yeah you can't keep playing it forever you can but there's a bit of a a lag at the end there when you reach the end game if you've done everything and then of course you have the whole debacle with the microtransactions and the eververse which i also don't defend but as I said before, a few of the other decisions I don't really mind, it's especially uh, if you've seen my video of the, about the shaders, I don't really mind a few of the other changes that people were raving about. There we go. But yeah, I do understand it. Oh god, Jesus Christ. Just want to take a breather here, and then finish them off. There we go. Is that it? Wow, that was an onslaught. I'm headed your way to pick up the goods. Farm will really appreciate it. Heck of a job, you two. Quite. There we go. Now, do me a favor and see if there's any tea still intact. Tea? I have not seen any tea, Devram. I am so sorry. So that's again a. Uh, I think it was a kind of a shorter adventure, although no, it does seem to be uh, ten minutes again. So. Uh, Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. It's going to be it for today's episode. I uh, hope you, well, appreciated my uh, my opinion about the game and its state so far. Uh, if you have anything else to add, please do so in the comments. I really like to hear your voice about this. And, uh, well, with that said, thank you guys enormously for watching. And I hope to see you next time on Adventure Time. Goodbye.